Hey, what up guys? I just got done with my round at Pebble Beach and I am just over the moon right now. Um, I shot just okay. Um, you can see how I did in this video, but basically I called the day before on a weekend to see if they had any single slots available on a Monday and they did. So I took it. Um, so I didn't have to stay at, you know, a Pebble Beach uh, resort or hotel room and basically paid $5.75 and it was incredible uh, i was reliving shots that i was playing in the video game on tiger woods pga tour um had some tough interesting shots i drove the ball really well i played smart still ended up with just an okay number but let's just hit the course and see how i did and i hope you guys enjoy this one all right first tee shots a short par four to the right uh just hit a driving iron out there wasn't trying to swing outside of my capabilities and just playing my game and taking nice good tempoed swings uh, unfortunately this first one ends up to the left behind the trap and i have this extremely tough chip and i just wanted to get onto the green uh, so here's my attempt just trying to land it on uh, obviously not going to have a lot of stopping power because of the rough and i just took out the flat stick gave it my best shot but ultimately, super happy with a two putt there. So start off with a bogey. Let's go. Second up, you're going to see quite a bit of the driving iron. This is a rather short par five. And I didn't want to screw around with any of the traps. So I just some took something out that I knew I could hit into the middle and hit into the fairway. Oh, you got a family coming. Back. Yeah. I think it's the same one. The yeah, same two. yeah. Like little two baby ones in the mouth. All right, next shot was just a layup to those trees that you see in the center of the fairway. Uh, the person that I was playing with was giving me some vice because he played Pebble the day before. Um, and so this next shot, I have a pretty straightforward shot into the green. Uh, I'm gonna do as many shot tracers as possible and give as much Arcos information as well. Um, here you can see I was able to get it onto the green. And here's my birdie attempt. And I must say, in the beginning of the round, I was rolling it really well with the putter. So uh, just getting into these greens. They weren't super fast or anything. Uh, pretty, pretty standard. Was doing pretty well. So got my par. So I took out driving iron again, hit it into the middle of the fairway. And this next approach was probably you know my best approach of the day. Hits short of the green, but rolls on. It gets pretty close to the hole. You can see me do a little double take. And I end up being only about five feet from the hole. It's pretty nervous when I was up there. Uh, so I end up hitting the putt. You can't see it, but I end up rolling in the birdie. So I'm even through three holes, which I'm ecstatic. Once again, taking the driving iron out and avoiding, you know, any types of issues left and right off the tee and just end up short of the trap. This is beautiful, guys. Although wind is coming in. This is, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. All right, for my approach here, uh, I was just playing position golf, just aiming for the dead center of the green. Just wanted to be safe and on board. And so I ended up doing that. Little testy putt here, it breaks pretty hard to the left and it's downhill. Uh, so speed wasn't the greatest here. It starts leaking to the left here. Um, so I have a testy one. Here's my attempt. And I am just ecstatic that I'm just even through this far. Next up is a you know, par three over the ravine. Uh, try to just play a position golf again, play something that's safe. Short left, I'm not dead. Um, so end up being on the green, fortunately, but I have this monster putt. And, you know, not having the four caddy, you know, and not knowing the breaks of that well, first time playing, ends up with that as my second shot. Yep, not great. End up getting the bogey, but one over for you this far, I'm ecstatic. So this is one of the Tiger Woods holes that I remember and you know the one that I always see on TV. Uh, it was pretty blind and foggy. It was pretty hard to see what was going on out there. But luckily my drive ends up in the fairway. Next shot just trying to get it up there into the fairway again. But I end up landing a little bit short so I'm in the thick grass. But the views, check them out. That's crazy view from behind. So it's kind of crazy that this is the view now that you see uh, because it was sunny, you know, in the first couple holes, but then this fog just rolled in out of nowhere. So I end up hitting my approach and actually end up getting uh, on the green. So here's my putt. And incredibly, I'm back to even. I just <laughs> can't believe it. You know, I'm playing out of my mind. I even told the guy that I was playing with, I'm playing like crazy. So the famous par three, seventh 
downhill. All I wanted to do was hit the green, just get on the green. I practiced it once at the hay, and I ended up achieving that. So hey, I I'm excited about that. Practice makes perfect, right? So here's my putt, and end up cooking it ever so slightly. Okay, not ever so slightly, end up cooking it pretty hard. Uh, but the comeback putt, end up draining it. So I'm even thus far, and I can't believe it. Okay, everyone knows this hole. It's the hard par four that you shoot over the water for your second shot. I wish I took a little bit more club here. I thought I had some wind helping, but yeah. As you can see, the next shot, just hitting into the abyss. So I decided to lay up and not hit five wood. Yeah. And I just hit my five iron over the ravine. And luckily I stayed out of the sand trap. So I just chip it on, you know, just playing, taking my medicine uh, because my tee shot wasn't far enough. And I'm in on the green, so I'm putting, you know, for par. Hit the hole. Here's my attempt. And yeah, I end up smoking it by. So I have a testy one. And nope. So not great. This course, biting back, double bogey. All right, last hole on, on the front nine. I uh, end up hitting just an okay driver, end up pulling it to the left. So I'm on the left side of the cart path. And as you can see, position golf again. You know, I know I can't get there and there's a water on the right. And I don't want to like push it out of bounds or slice it out of bounds. So I just hit a club that I know I can hit straight and end up laying up. All right, so here is my uh, approach into the green. Uh, I lie here in two, so I just want to get as close as possible and try to make a par. So achieved it, went onto the green, little testy one for for par, end up hitting it by and tapping it in. So I uh, ended up bogey three over through nine. Like I, I can't believe it. So here's the 10th hole, hit it just okay dry, a little necky out there. Wasn't carrying the ball too far with my driver that day. Uh, this next one, I just played a two iron and I thought I hit a really good shot, uh, but it's so windy that it, it really just punished me and I'm way short. So this is one of my biggest errors of the day. Uh, just left it really short and chunked my approach into the green. So for this approach, my ball ends up getting a kick forward and then it hits it way past the flag. So unfortunately I have a long one just to make up for bogey. So here's my bogey attempt. And you know what? I just lagged it up there and just took my double bogey uh, and took my medicine. Uh, this next hole has a temporary green, uh, and it's probably one of the nicer temporary greens that I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's short right of the green. So this next one only played about 100 yards. Uh, I end up hitting it not that great, end up being short on this approach, uh, and so I have to chip on. But guys, check out this green. It has a ridge in the middle of it for a temporary green. This is like nicer than some municipal golf courses that I've played on. So uh, here's my putt. I just didn't want to go past and down the ridge. So I took it easy, took my medicine, and just took a bogey here. So uh, the wheels are starting to fall off, but I'm enjoying the heck out of this. Can't complain. Uh, next up, hit this long par three uh, shot, unfortunately, into the bunker. Uh, and so my first sand shot here at Pebble Beach. And it turns out to be not a bad one. So uh, not really used to playing in such fluffy sand. Um, probably could just work on my short game in general. <laughs> so there's my putt for, for par and I'm missing that. And I'm taking another bogey. So, so far no pars on the back. All right, driver hole. End up hitting this pretty good. One of my better drives of the day. Uh, when I get up there, I realize that I'm kind of on a side hill lie. But when I'm walking up there, I get a chance to take a look at some of the houses. All right, here comes my approach. And I didn't really know that there was a sand trap on the right hand side of the green. And unfortunately, that's where I'm going and that's where I ended up. Now that I had practice in one bunker, you would think, oh, this one shouldn't be that bad. Uh, but I end up hitting this a little thin and zooming it by the hole. So this is what I have for my comeback. And yeah, just trying to do my best here to preserve my score, but this is not looking good. Here's my next putt. And yeah, didn't make that as well. So yeah, wheels are starting to fall off, but uh, you know, I'm having the time of my life playing, you know, one of the most iconic courses. Cannot be upset about that. Uh, hit another good drive here, just ended up fading it on this dog leg, semi dog leg right, a par five. Uh, here, check out the views. That looks amazing now. Holy smokes. 
That's awesome. And for this next shot, I just hit a 5 wood, but I end up fading it ever so slightly, which puts me in a not so great position behind the right tree. It's kind of like one of those things that you focus on, and if you think about it too much, you're going to do what you don't want to do. And so I had to hit a punch shot, and I had a pretty good punch shot, but it went through the green. And this is kind of another error on my end. I tried to be too cute with it. I was like, oh, I'll barely roll it on and try to roll it close because it's downhill. And now I have this kind of tough putt just to preserve uh, my par, which I was had such a good drive and almost made that, but ultimately uh, ended up with a bogey. Um, but I guess there's no complaints here because I put myself in such a poor position after my second shot. Taking the Gary Woodland approach here with driving iron, and obviously I'm playing from a lot shorter tees, uh, but yeah, it's just a reliable club for me and it gets me into the fairway, so why not? All right, a downhill shot here. Probably one of the better irons that I hit on the back nine. Uh, and you know, I just wanted to get onto the putting surface, just trying to eliminate and score well. So I end up getting onto the green, and here's my attempt. Not the greatest, it broke pretty hard towards the ocean, which I had a four caddy that kind of helped me out there, but uh, I end up coming up with my first par on the back. What a tale of two nines thus far. Next up is a beautiful downhill par four with that giant mansion on that cliffside view in the background. Uh, hit a pretty good drive here, so I have a pretty close one for my next shot. Uh, end up nuking this club over to the left, and I end up hitting a tree. Listen. Whoa! Oh, did I? Is that four? I got very lucky with my kick here. Uh, ended up just getting onto the putting surface. Uh, and taking my poison and all I want to do is get a two putt uh, so I actually had a pretty good look at par but hey I deserve it I deserve the bogey for hitting that bad second shot into the green next up is that seaside par 3 17th uh, the person advised me to better to be short than long but I end up being in a very bad position short and I wish I took one more club not easy one foot in so I ended up hitting the shot. I just didn't want to be in the trap, so I ended up taking more power than I needed. At this point, I'm just like in stroke saving mode. Just get onto the surface mat and get it to where I can attempt to save the bogey, but you know what? I'll just take the double bogey. So here's my attempt. And yeah, totally misjudged that one. So I ended up getting the double there. Uh, not too happy, but hey, it could have been a lot worse. So. I'll take the double. Like I said, the round kind of fell apart at the end. All right, last hole, iconic par 5, 18th. Uh, I just didn't want to be in the water, uh, so I ended up doing a little bit of a slice to the right, but hey, it's dry. Didn't quite know what to do here, so I took a higher lofted club just to make sure that I had a good second shot from the fairway, even though it was going to be kind of long. I just didn't want to hit the tree. So here we go, here's my shot into it. It's a little bit windy uh, and I barely sneak onto the green. But hey, I'm on the green and I'm happy that I'm putting. So as you can see, I'm on the green. Really long putt. Didn't really, really know how to hit this one, but I try my best. And not bad, I'll take that. So here's my putt for par. And yeah, just didn't quite, quite read it quite correctly. So end up with you know an 86 but hey i'll take it amazing time here at pebble beach so as you can see i was only three over on the front uh, i had two birdies i was playing out of my mind uh, and in the back you know regressed back to the mean had some doubles had some tough shots and i played actually really well i only had like maybe one thrown away stroke which was the, one of the chips um but other than that i played you know smart golf and you know, just some things didn't break my way, you know? So it, this this was such an amazing experience and if you can't afford it, I do recommend you can go 
Um, I'm sure you'll hear from everyone. It is amazing. And it totally is. The conditions were uh, incredible. Felt like I was hitting off amazing grass all day long. The sand, unfortunately, the bunkers, I had a lot of experience in those. Those were great as well. Uh, and the greens were awesome as well. I, I kind of wish I had the four caddy to, to help on some of the putts because, you know, some of the putts didn't go, to go that well. And if I had someone telling me, you know, where to hit it, it would be very helpful. But man, you know, the sides were awesome. The homes were beautiful. The course was beautiful. You know, what they say about Pebble is true. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed that one. More to come. And I'll see you in the next one.